Hi, crafters. Amy here with Amy's Wears, and today I'm going to make a fun fall inspired card today. I have a couple of new 6x9 stencils. These are part of the September release at A Colorful Life Designs. I have some craft colored cardstock, and here is a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. Um, I did start with die cutting that panel down with a deckled edge rectangle die. I will link it as well as all the other products available in the video description box below. But I'm gonna start with this layered pumpkin stencil from the new release. So I'm just kind of figuring out um, the layout of this. I wasn't entirely sure how big the foliage was gonna be in front of the pumpkin, so I was kind of messing with it, moving it around side to side to make sure it would fit. But I'm gonna start with um, a couple of colors on this pumpkin portion. And these parts are spaced so nice on the stencil that it really is easy to do without having to mask very much. So I started kind of with the darker color and then I decided I wanted to go with more of a bright, orange in the center part here. So that's what I'm doing. It might be a little hard to see. I apologize, I was off screen. But you can see I have that nice gradient in color. And then I'm gonna line up the sunflower parts of the bloom here, just figuring out how they're supposed to sit in there. It's pretty easy to figure out. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had it right because I have sometimes messed up with the uh, layered stencils in the past. So I just wanted to move it around and make sure I had it right because this is literally the first time I'm actually playing with this. So I'm gonna come in with this yellow color. And again, everything is slightly darkened because I am working on that brown cardstock. So it would be a different look if I were working obviously on white cardstock. So here I might need to do just a little bit of masking or get out a smaller blending brush, which is what I opted to do here, just so I can keep the center of the sunflower different colors than the green leaves, um, and obviously the stem of the pumpkin as well. So I'm just starting in with that green color, and then I'm gonna come in with a very dark brown color here and uh, actually fill in, it's icing on the cake, fill in the centers of the sunflower, again, with one of these little small blending brushes. I get these from Amazon. If I forget to link them below and you're interested in them, be sure to let me know in the comments. Sometimes I don't remember all the little components <laughs> when I get around to editing. So if I forget something, always let me know in the comments and I can get that link for you. Um, here I was a little off to the side, but again, that was just because I hadn't really used it before. Now I have the pumpkin latte stencil. I'm actually gonna use one of the sentiments from this. I'm just figuring out where in the composition I want it to go. Um, and I'm going with the It's Fall, y'all. So again, with a small blending brush or in this case, even my Alta New one, I was able to do it without masking off. If you are worried at all, you can use some paper or maybe some mint tape or something to mask around the edges. Here you can see I created kind of a drop shadow with a white gel pen and put some highlights on there. And then I decided I wanna amp up the drama a little bit and I'm using some residual ink on my blending brushes from the rabbit hole designs with uh, my brown brush just to kind of create a little bit of a vignette to draw the eye in just because there's so much kind of open space on this composition. So I'm just gonna wipe off my work surface and then figure out the next steps. Now here I'm realizing I don't want the white um, background um, as far as the border. I decided to do some inking. Now I wasn't sure initially if I wanted the white just to tie in the drop shadow, but I felt like it was a little bit too bright and in your face given I was using such warm uh, fall like colors. So I'm using this scrap piece of paper here and I'm just doing ink to paper with my little ink pad and just creating a little border so that I have a nice dark color um, around the edge of my card base but I still have it nice and white for writing on the inside of the card. Now here I'm just figuring out what blingage I wanna use. There's over 100 colors in the shop now. You can use my coupon again, AmyFan10, and sh save 10% on your complete order. Um, there are 12 new colors in the shop for September so be sure to check that out if you missed my intro video. Um, there'll be loads of samples from me and other people on our design team with all of these awesome fall inspired stencils. I'm just going to lay them down in a smattering here. I always do odd numbers, usually either three or five. And then here's all my colors that I used. I got the blingage glued down. I did a couple little white dots in the center of the blooms as well for the sunflowers, but that's going to finish my card. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Be sure to check out all the awesome products this month for September, and I'll catch you next time.